Hey guys, welcome back to Blank Slate Plays Lego Dimensions. In the last episode, we saved the future from the Daleks and made it here to, to the Doctor Who Adventure World. This world is kind of unique in a way, but as you can see in the map, we have a red brick to collect, so why don't we get something fat? Fast like the Batmobile, and try to catch it. And that's the red brick for this level. Luckily, as I said before, this this world actually has. Uh, gimmick no, to it. No, this can't be right. I must have developed Because since this hip block is all shiny, it says that we can travel between fragments of the Doctor Who adventure world and destroy the dimensional discombobulators to reunite them. Step through that to go to the next world. Uh, use this to walk between them. What's the fun of that? See, 16th century Mars, Telos. I think it. Head back to present day. Whoop. And head back to twenty first century and do and look what needs to be done here. Missy has for us. Now, usually I wouldn't need help in my plotting and scheming, but I'm afraid there are some rather impolite zygons impersonating a bunch of your beloved humans, but more importantly, your dear old friend Missy as well. I don't think I need to tell you what happens to naughty little copycats that try and steal my thunder now, do I? Help me find them, and I might let you live. So... Let's, you know the saying goes, let Zygons be Zygons, not let Zygons be people. Or Time Lady, for that matter. So, according to the map, Zygon, a Zygon should be over here somewhere. I spy with my little eyes. And it looks like Missy found it too. But, for us as the doctor, we can't see it. So how about we have some help with Wild Style? Let's do this! Now there's a big red rubber smelly thing covered in suckers that we all know and love. Let's... By love, I mean, you know, the other thing. Let's keep Wild Style out for now so he can help us find more. It looks like there's more right over here. I do wish my boyfriend was here to help. He's got a good eye for this sort of thing. That's another. According to the map, we have two, I think we have, oh no, actually one more. Should be around here. Check and see. Right at the edge over here. Going in and cross this bridge. Oh, Pewee. Oh, poor cat. Oh, now that is definitely a Zygon. Far too smelly for a human, and that's saying something. Oh, 
Oh, my dear robbery friend, there's no need to beat yourself up about it. There! Now that's better, isn't it? Not a zygon to be seen. Though I guess they weren't exactly to be seen before, either, but you know what I mean. I did plan on getting rid of you once you helped me sort this mess out, but I seem to have misplaced my vaporizer, so... <laughs> I suppose I should offer you some sort of thanks instead. Now run along, will you, before I change my mind. So, with helping her out, get a gold brick as a reward. See you later, alligator. Now, the funny thing with Doctor Who... I need to get some apples and pears. Oh, and the stairs need fixing and all. If the doctor not oh, dies... Oh. Yes, it all started out as a mild curiosity in the junkyard. Now it's turned out to be quite a great spirit of adventure. He goes through all of his incarnations. So if he dies as the recent doctor, he'll go back to being the first doctor. And funny thing is, we go inside the TARDIS, and the inside changes as well to fit with that doctor's theme. So, if we head back outside, go die again. We're the second doctor. Go check inside TARDIS, and it's the same as the first one, though. So, we'll go ahead and do this for all 13 of them. And now we're the third doctor. And now we actually got some color in here. including the round things. Let's head back outside. Four. Again, slight change. Hold this hat rack. way to like kill yourself for these incarnation is just to uh, uh, that's close he's a way to kill yourself is just to jump off the ledge again very slight changes with the consoles and interior Lucky for us, that leads us back out. Now, I think we are the fifth doctor, I think. Oh, no, we're the sixth doctor. Go ahead and head back onto the land. Okay, not much of a change change interior-wise. Jump off again. We're the seventh doctor with his weird umbrella. No, no change in here again. I think our next incarnation is going to be, if I know my Doctor Who history. Oh, nope, not quite. I'm still the eighth Doctor. And now it's the quite the change with more book books. It's more like a library in here than normal. 
we head back outside. Now, we're not any number doctor, we're the war doctor. So I think if we head inside now, yep, his TARDIS, we're inside his, and there's the button. Jump off the ledge again. Now we should be the ninth doctor. And looking a little bit closer to what we all know, I head back outside and go to one of my favorite doctors. Doctor. Head back with this over the lid so we don't accidentally jump out. Again, clo close. Oh. Come on. Head back outside. One to my next favorite doctor, because he thinks bow ties are cool. He's the eleventh doctor. And back in and see his TARDIS, which, if I remember right, looked like it was made all of, made out of scrap parts. And, and what else? Coats and stuff by the door. Whoops! And now we're back as the 12th Doctor. Now, with that being done, let's see what else this play, play, well, this segment has. Because it seems like we can build something over or fix something over this way. I think it's on top of this building here, so... Well, no, could be wrong. Nope, it was inside. The 3W facility. These things in a right six and eight. Reckon I could fix it up if you fling us a few studs. Well, it costs 40000 to fix it. Or to restore it. quite do that now. Let's see where this mini access goes to by using part here. I thought we could, but I guess not. See where this heads up. Uh, 
Ah, that. I am the doctor. This is my spoon. On guard. Let's see. No. Good afternoon. I'm a lizard woman from the dawn of time, and I need your assistance in a matter of the utmost urgency. The peace between my race and human life depends on it. Well, let's see what she needs. Come now, my dear. I will explain it. A dispute between my Silurian relatives and the humans of this age has broken out, much to my disappointment after years of keeping the peace. Unfortunately, my family don't care to be disturbed by humans, resulting in several of them being taken as hostages underground. I would usually ask Jenny and Strax for their assistance on such an important mission, but as you are already here, would you care to restore the peace? So look, go now and try. Please hurry. My people grow restless with these constant disturbances from humankind. It is only a matter of time before the situation gets out of hand. So the only way to do that is to go underground. And one no, way we can do no, that. This can't be right. I must have developed a fault. Let's go on ahead and use Homer's. Yellow. Let's head in. The Septurian Lair. Deep underground. All be found inside here. Hmm. Oh, I see. The bat switch right there. The dark night. That's one down. Oh, we have more to go. Another bat switch up here. Now it should be ready for us to use. So go ahead and open that gate up and head inside to rescue the next one. Only one left, and I have a feeling it was back in the other one that we were in, just in. Yep. Now we just gotta head back. Thank you, Batman, for your help. Looks like there's a lower way down, but we'll check that after this mission is over. Head back up. We must hurry. My people grow restless with these constant disturbances from humankind. 
It is only a matter of time before the situation gets out of hand. It appears that all of the humans are accounted for. Excellent work, my dear. Perhaps now they will finally learn not to wake my dear relatives with their ridiculous drilling machines. After all, we were here first. Please, take this as a way of thanks. Now, that's finished. Let's go ahead and figure... Fine. But there was to do down here. Whoops! Well, no. I want doctors as any. I think restore the jukebox here. And while we're at it, one thing I didn't mention, this spot here can let us choose whichever doctor we can be. So, how about, for now, let's just be as the 12th Doctor, and this other one. And change the song from Inside the TARDIS. But according to the map, it seems to, well, Seems to be one more thing to fix in this section. But let's see what this is down here. us to another switch we gotta activate. Press this one. Following the trail of studs to the next switch and not following the lava. Now, who knows what? Well, fine. That opens that that up to get that gold brick. Now, now hopefully, we'll use that vine to climb back up. And now we're going to head back up to the surface and find where that what? Oh, actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, 
I think we fixed all we could in this part of the world. So, going ahead, and how about we travel into the past now? Into the 19th century London. Seems like there's stuff to break here. might be the combobulator that I was talking about earlier. All we have to do is gotta figure out which one may goes to the right path. I think it's that one. I should be right. And now this section is now attached to the 21st century London. Later, alligator. Well, now let's explore this what? snowy one. It appears human homes are not built to withstand everyday explosions. Oh, huh. well, let's see what Strax needs. Ah, there you are, boy. Or girl. Do forgive me, I still don't have that one quite perfected. Anyway, I take it you're here to help me clear up the mess that I... That is that someone made of Madame Vastra's mansion. Personally, I blame that Jenny character. That boy is always juggling grenades when she thinks no one's watching. So, let's get to work, shall we? So, let's go in and clean things up. By basically repairing all the stuff that he broke. Sure, that was supposed to be in several pieces. No? Doctor, fix this. Well, personally, I thought that looked better before, but you're the expert. I believe that particular. It appears Madame Vastra's mansion is in even better condition than before. You have served your planet well, sir. Madam, child, no matter. The reward for your efforts might not be an accurate identification of gender from myself, but I believe what I do have for you will more than suffice. Take it. <laughs> And got a gold brick from him. It. Him. Let's see what's down this street. Because according to the map, there's two things over this way. It is time for you to face me in glorious battle, you clockwork cowards. My mission is to destroy you all. Oh, it's Strax again. Well, let's see what's in this field area. You will be built for repairs, and then you will be assimilated. Asylum, man. The winter playground. Well, only 30,000. No, not a whole lot. Seems enough, but let's see what Strax wanted over here. Even though we just helped him. Greetings, boy. I am reporting to you with an urgent mission of utmost importance. Madame Vastra has informed me that a group of clockwork pests have been stealing parts for their pathetic ship. There is only one solution that I see fit. Grenades! Come, we will challenge them to a fight to the end. So we're going to help, help them. Yeah. I declare war on all clocks. 
Do not attempt to escape, or you will be obliterated. And these things again. We have to beat up 30 of them. More coming. Ten down, twenty left. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think the only episode these things were in were I think were that one were these things were in eighteenth century. Kept going back and forth the 18th century in the future to find parts of their ship ship from and I think this one person was the main part that they needed. Of course I'm of course I don't have a solid knowledge on Doctor Who. But that is the last one. Another victory in the name of the Santaran Empire. I suppose I should offer you my thanks, madam. Oh, sir, you proved yourself to be most useful in the midst of battle. Now, would you care for a cup of tea? Or possibly some acid? Mm, no, but we'll take a gold brick. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah. But if you notice right there at the corner with, doc with the doctor's health, as with his species, he has two hearts instead of the normal one health bar. Well, let's see. According to the map, that thing that we need to fix is over this way along with another one, which I have a feeling it's going to be Strax. Unless it's down here? Really odd. But let's see what this other mission is. Oh dear, oh dear. This situation does look rather bleak. We can't have Zygons terrorizing the streets of London. It just won't do. I hope you remember to bring some of your famed ammunition straps. Greetings. I wonder if you could assist us. A rather grouchy group of Zygons have decided to try their hand at an invasion of London. And it's not for the first time, I might add. This is an operation that could do with a little brute force rather than tact. So I've taken the liberty of bringing Strax along to appease his need for grenades. I shan't think that these Zygons will be able to deal with the three of us combined. So let's take more... Little excited, Strax. More Zygons to take care of. This distance to That's the usual 30, it seems. Oh, these guys keep beating them. Can't. It has to be us that beats them. Yes. I've got my best bail on. <laughs> Ten 
left. Yeah, this can be hard with the others. Destroying, killing them before we do. Five left. And two more. Now one left. Send a telegram to Inspector Abilene of the Yard. The Zygon threat has been dealt with. Strax, will you bring the horse and carriage around? Oh, wait. Where has he got to now? Oh, I do hope he hasn't been at those jelly sherbet fancies again. Oh. <sighs> that's another Zygon. Menace taken care of. But, odd thing is, should be something to build. According to the map, there should be something to build here. But nothing. Hmm. Well, maybe it'll come up later. In the meantime, how about we go to the next area? How about. How about Mars this time? No missions here, it seems. But a thing to build, it looks like. Weird. Let's see what. Behind that silver object. Ah, I see. Get Wild Styles help again to cover. It's another one of these hacking terminals. Get all the studs here. And get all the studs we can. Let's see what's down here. Oh, that's close. Switch blue over. Should be easier to get to this hacking port. And now, Switch back over to red. Get easier way to get these studs. Ooh, these studs down here. Whoa! That's close. Let's try the other way. Back we go. Or not. Yeah. Back we go so we get those studs in the middle again. Lots of blue and gold. And 
and switch back over to blue. That's one, that's another half port down. Whoops. Oh, I almost forgot. You can press B and it'll make make those spots go in the up other direction. I forgot about that. Now one more hack port to go. How about we switch over to the green? Make things easy. Whoops. Make things easier on us to move. There we go. That seems to be the last one. And it was the shape of a Dalek. And slow down. Now that fixed, this thing boots up. And now the other pieces are back to are where we are. Kinda. Is that and see we're over London is now and it seems like this was the thing that was going needed to be fi fixed and doll at the Mars space shuttle only 40,000 let's do so Let's see what this switch does anyway. Seems to be water. It gives us a gold brick for our reward. But it seems like there are two missions over this way. Things are really heating up around here. And you just can't keep away, can you? And it's messy again. See a wild style? Now let's see what Missy wants. I was just casually passing by when I saw that some poor, vulnerable ice warriors took a wrong turn on the way home and ended up in um, hot water, as it were. Now, as I'm sure you remember, they're not terribly fond of the heat, so we should probably see about putting out those fires and getting them to safety. What's in it for me, I hear you say? Well, let's just say... I'll be the brains and they can be the brawn when it comes to my next plan to conquer the Earth! Yeah, so we gotta figure out where they are by following the red areas on the map. <laughs> Not even a sonic screwdriver can make sense of this. Oh well, nice. it's the first time for everything. Let's try the other way. Don't you have something that can put out these fires? I mean, who's been going around lighting fires anyway? Haven't they got anything better to do? Ah. So, thankfully, we have some someone that can put out those fires. Man. That's that one done. 
and figure out the next spot. Oh, right over here. Gotta put out all those fire, all the fires out first. And then you can talk to them. Now only one, one more left, which should be around here, right here. Closer. And now, that should be the last one. Thank you, Aquaman, for all your help. A king's work is never done. And now, we can go back to where Missy is. That's another gold brick. It seems like we have another one to do here on Mars. Right here. So, can't help but notice there's nobody here. And it's here, here in 21st century. Hey there! You know the face of Bo, right? Big head, serious face, lives in a jar. Well, I heard that his birthday's coming up, and apparently the big guy's turning like a million billion this year. And you can't let a landmark like that go without a bang. So I figured I'd put on a little musical number for him, which we're supposed to be practicing now. But all my backing dancers have gone AWOL. Hey, could you be a pal and go round up those lazy ood? It looks like we need to go find the ood. According to the map, should be somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Oh, like this one here. That's one. to tell where exactly they are. Usually the red dots will give you a general area. saying some of them are here in the 19th century. Oh, 
I see one. Let's see it. Only two more to find, and I think with it saying it's down below, I have a good feeling of where it might be. We'll have to go underground again. Oh, no, this wasn't the place. Where was it? one. Oh, now there's one left. And since it's saying it's underground, hmm. where was that entrance at? Oh, here it is. Somewhere here, I think. No, it's saying it's back on the surface. Odd. Let's see where it is. Let's see, it's saying it's down below, over this way. Oh! Right here. That's the last one. Here, you know, man. Back when I was a poster boy, they actually used to call me the face of Bo. Weird coincidence, huh? Maybe he was a poster boy too. All right, this is everyone. We can finally rehearse. Seriously, you guys, the face of Bo isn't getting any younger here. You all ready? Oh, before we get started, take this for your help. That's all of it for now, so. How about we hop it back into the TARDIS? And let's go to Scaro, home of the Daleks. Oh God, be. Careful here. As if you remember from what they said on the show. Or, oh no. No, earlier. What am I talking about? Can't step in those things. But here is another several Lego object. Get, bring back log style. And there's its next control panel. Well, it's been fun. Later. And apparently I pressed Y. And that's all for that one. to everything else. And now let's see where that piece that needs to be built is. Huh? 
because it says it's up high. on top of this building. Let's see. Restore the Dalek head. Only 60,000. Yeah, we can do that. Good thing most of these were cheap. There's that one. I think... Oh, nope, there's one mission to do right down here. Oh, there, I think I can see it right over there. Dalek in distress over here. Will you come over and calm this thing down before I push it off a cliff? I promise you won't be next, though. All Daleks must be destroyed. I will destroy the Daleks. My broken manipulator arm must be avenged. Such bullying among the Daleks will not be tolerated. You will assist me in my plan for revenge. Exterminate the Daleks. Exterminate the Daleks. I know Rusty and Co. have had their differences, but breaking his manipulator arm? Now that just won't do, will it? How about you go off and take this moving dustbin for a walk, and I'll stay here and come up with an over-elaborate plan to destroy you. I, I mean... I'll stay here and keep guard because I'm so nice. So, let's help Rusty the friendly Dalek, shall we? I am not a good Dalek, but you are bad Daleks. Exterminate! Daleks are evil. Daleks must be destroyed. <laughs> These Daleks seem to be the hardest enemy we've fa faced so far. So keep following Rusty. That for Rusty, that for this area, it seems. So, hop back into the TARDIS. And how about we go to tell, tell us now. Tell us what? 
That was a bad pun, I know. And it looks like Talos seems to be some sort of frozen planet or something. Is it coming on the roof? Odd. I guess no way to find out than to bring this piece of the world back to where it belongs. Wild style back. Well, it looks like this time we need ve a vehicle. So, wild style. Let's bring Batmobile out. Okay, I'll deal with it. Basically, the eyebrows say I'm a dog. I prefer cars called Fessy that come with a brigadier. And that's that fixed. Now there's only one piece of the world left to bring back. And there's that Cyberman. Well, only 50,000 to, to restore the Telus base. And it looks like we've got a mission over here. Well, I must say, this is not the kind of weather that I had in mind when Jenny suggested the holiday. Good day to you. Such a relief to find someone else here. I'm afraid I got stranded here after a failed experiment with a device that the doctor refers to as a vortex manipulator. To make matters worse, I seem to have stumbled upon an ancient ice tomb belonging to the Cybermen. Of course, they're still snoozing away for now, but I was alarmed by the sighting of a number of Cybermats making a nuisance of themselves. If you can help me get the little pests under control, then we won't have to deal with their rudely awoken masters. Let's go now, Seth. It appears as though our cyber friends are being awakened by their little rodent companion. I'm sure. My detective skills never. This shouldn't require anything more than a little pest control. I hope you're right to it, my dear. All of these little pests must be stopped before the cybermen become fully active again. Go destroy 20 of these cybermats and we'll only have 10, 10 left. We could really do with speeding the process along, my dear. I don't wish to alarm you, but our cyber friends will soon be awake. Five more left. One more left. That should do it. Those cybermen will be tucked away asleep in their ice tombs for quite some time yet. You would be very welcome to join my little household with Jenny and Strax. The Pater Noster gang's door will always be open to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must be getting back home. I tried to think what Strax has been up to in my absence. Well, I must. Say, this is not the kind of weather that I had in mind when Jenny suggested before. 
Oh, with that taken care of, there's only one place left to go to. And that would be Ten Trenzalore. Says that there's something to build over here. But seems I highly doubt it. Oh, on the way to know for sure. is to rebuild this and put, bring it back to the rest of the world. Wow, Later. Well, actually, let's bring, let's bring the canine back, actually. Go ahead and fix this. And do whatever needs to be done here. Which activates this last one. That's the last one of the Doctor Who world. There's the cy there's the Cyberman that needs whatever needs to be rebuilt. Mausoleum, only thirty thousand. We can do that. And just check to make sure. Yeah, that's all the things need to be rebuilt. It looks like Jack is here again. Let's see what he needs. Is it just me? Hey, fancy doing a little Torchwood mission for me? We got word that the Nistine Consciousness has taken over a plastics factory not far from here. Long story short, the Nistines like playing with their human-sized action figures a little too much. And they brought a bunch of shop window mannequins to life to cause mayhem in the streets. Help me take these dummies down, will ya? Let's get rid of these. Le uh, 20 left. All of this living plastic. If I had a 3D printer, I could clone myself and take me out to dinner. And 10 more. Gotta keep getting rid of these guys. And four more left. And one left. At ease. That's all of them. And if I may say so, you were looking pretty good out there. If you fancy catching up later on, you know where to find me. I think with him... I think we beat every mission here as well. Let's do a quick flyover. Be sure. Yeah, I think 
think that's every mission here in Doctor Who. So, I guess with every mission done and every everything restored, I guess next time on Lego Dimension, well, Blank Slate, Blank Slate plays Lego Dimensions, we are gonna go somewhere, somewhere pretty super. See you guys then. Oh, I keep, I think I keep forgetting to say this. this blank, Blank Slate and, and Remind you all that all ideas come from a blank slate. See you guys then.